this is how much we brought in in September. That does include, are you paying attention? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia with my husband Mauricio. He is gracing us with his presence. Today we are going to do two videos in one. First, we are going to be going over our September budget, seeing how it went. And then we are going to have our budget meeting for the October budget. And we're gonna film this and it's gonna be real and it's probably gonna be ugly and I'll probably have to delete stuff. And Mauricio brought a sword. Why? Because apparently it's gonna be like an off with my head sort of situation, which is possible. <laughs> are you trying not to laugh? If it's your first time here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because Mauricio is hanging out with us and it's going to be ugly and you want to see when it gets ugly because it's entertainment. Seriously, if this is the way you're going to be for the video, I'm kicking you out. So let us start by going over September. Okay. This is how much we brought in in September. That does include, are you paying attention? Yeah. Well, you're talking about September. So let's go over the individual first and then we will go over the categories. In the Molina category, we started out the month at... <laughs> Pay attention. Okay. In the Molina category, we started out... <laughs> okay, I really will kick you out. What? We need to have a budget meeting, okay? We're having a budget meeting. Well, stop being silly. So, the Molina category is the first category I'm gonna go over that I had weird expenses. In her before and after care, it started out at 590. It ended up being at 635 because there was a registration fee that I was unaware of. So that changed. Then in for her birthday, we had originally budgeted $500 and that got bumped down to $100 for the deposit for the place for the inflatables. But we used that $400 pretty much in this category. <laughs> in Melina category. Um, I had put $100 in for a Halloween costume for Melina and we ended up getting that on Amazon. So that moved to a different category. And then we had PTO expenses, which were $150. That was completely unplanned. We had no clue, zero clue. Are you gonna talk? I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Do you need me to talk? Like, good job, man. good job. <laughs> Then we had another unplanned expense was $30 to the class mom for Melina's new class. We had no idea that was coming. We haven't been parents at this school before. So now we know that that is something that will be coming. So next year we'll be better off. But we did pay that in cash. I pulled that out of the extra cash that we usually have. So um, I paid that. With that extra $400 for Melina's birthday, we used a lot of that for um, for Melina's birthday presents, most of which were bought on Amazon. And I discussed that in another video, and I will put an, are, are we keeping you awake, Mauricio? Go ahead. And I'll put a link to that video up in the eye in the sky. That video, um, I discussed everything that we got on Amazon. Mauricio hasn't seen that video, but. How much all of you videos? What are you talking about? <laughs> he has, however, seen all the boxes come in and is very well aware of everything that we Mountains. got. Mountains. Like a lot. Chingos upon chingos boxes. That's chingos? A upon chingos. <laughs> chingos upon chingos. The next thing, which was unplanned in the Diseases? Lina are we buying diseases now? That says Disease? daisies. Oh read much. Um, the next thing we bought was a uniform for Melina. She has joined the Girl Scouts. She will be a daisy this year and that was $104 and I was like what? Girl Scouts sucked up a lot of money. I'm, I was surprised at how much Girl Scouts was. Um, 
We had to pay $50 for dues to Melina's troop. And I got volunteered as the troop money manager, which I don't know, I can't manage my own money. Why would they think I can manage a Girl Scout troop's money? Then we'll pay a bit faster. Yeah, <laughs> that is so wrong. Not by day. We will not be embezzling from Girl Scouts. In order for me to register to volunteer with the Daisies, I had to pay a $25 registration fee and $8. I'm going to break your sword. No, it's Melly's. And $8 for a background check. So all of that was unplanned expenses. What did this background check you? I apparently. The next thing is the printing for the invitations. I made these adorable invitations, if I do say so myself, with Pig Monkey. Mauricio, I'm going to take this sword away from you. Seriously. What is, I mean, what is the difference between doing these and a scratching with my hand? Don't scratch. Remember that movie? No, what movie? I remember. Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was funny. So we had to print those invitations out and that was $13.78 and they turned out so cute. And then Melina's school had t-shirts for the field trips. I know, I haven't told you about all the expenses Melina had this month. Must we probably have to put extra, like $500? In the Melina category, we have $1,096.38 this month is how much we spent on your daughter. It's probably just expensive. She's cheaper now than she was in, in private school. She's not going to start working. So the field trip t-shirts are $10.60, so I sent a check in for that. Then at the beginning of the month, we went to see Sing at her school, and it was super cute. They had it outside on the lawn. It was absolutely adorable. All the little families, all the little families, because they're tiny. You need a tiny families. Um, all the families came, brought all their kids, and it just was fun. They had pizza if you wanted to buy pizza, or you could bring a picnic. And we hung out with some of Melina's friends and classmates and watched Sing out on the soccer field. And it was just, it was a fun, fun, fun event. And that cost $10. We had seen Sing a couple of times, like 20. So we didn't really pay attention to the movie. Basically, Mauricio and some of the other dads, they went up to the front with the kids and the mom sat in the back chatting and having a good time, enjoying it thoroughly. And then work lunches out was $61.70. I paid $13.85 for clothing labels for Melina for her jackets and Mauricio. What? We'll be ironing those into her clothes this afternoon. We had $22 for parking. And then this one totally sucked, but um, why don't you explain what happened to the car, Mauricio? I, we just needed to replace the battery. Come on. Why don't you tell the story? People like stories. Uh, we have a car. <laughs> the battery died. And we changed the battery, which cost money. End of the story. Okay, okay. so... once upon a time... <laughs> Shut up. Okay, car. so the car died. We tried to start it. It wouldn't start. We were at church. Bad things happened. We ended up getting AAA to come out and jumpstart the car. And it cost $187.90. $187.90 to get that fixed and but it's running beautifully like a champ now and of course because we had to drop off the the car it totally screwed up our nighttime schedule anyway it was a tuesday night my parents went out to dinner with some friends and i had to drive mauricio to drop it off we got home from work at six we like to get melina in bed right around 7 30 because she does get up at six o'clock in the morning to get ready for school and so I wasn't gonna have enough time to cook dinner and get Elena in bed by 7.30. So we went to Chick-fil-A for dinner and we paid 25.26 for that. I don't think the story is that like that, but okay. I, I remember going. We went together to pick up the car with Melina. 
Oh, was it we were picking up the car when, oh um, yeah, we dropped it off on Monday. And then we, I recorded a video I have not posted yet. It'll be up at some point about meeting an Olympic hopeful named Veronica Day. And it was super fun day. While we were out, I had to buy the book for book club. And then we bought Melina some milk and a cookie. And that ended up being 2206. And then after that, um, I actually talk about it in one of my previous videos, but we went and impulsively got the flu shot. It was traumatic, there was drama. And so we decided Melina deserves some ice cream after that. So we spent $17 on ice cream after that. Now I am going to go over each individual budget category so you can see where we started and where we went, we ended up. This month wasn't good. I will tell you, my shopping binges were bad. I mean, like seriously bad. Mauricio was not very happy with me. Um, he was understanding, realizing that the vast majority of things I purchased were for Molina and uh, school and getting all of that kind of stuff ready. So, and for her birthdays and Halloween. So it wasn't horrible. We still would have spent a lot of it anyway. It just happened a month before it would normally have happened. So while it was bad, it wasn't as bad as the numbers actually look. So in the utilities category, the utilities category, which is our cell phone and our um, storage unit, started out at 456.77 and ended up at 458.77. Apparently our phone bill went up $2. I don't know why. Our transportation category started out at 160 and ended up at zero. Why? Mauricio, my wonderful husband, finally canceled the car wash service. We also spent no money in gas this month, zero which is amazing to me. Mauricio has a hybrid vehicle and we have been carpooling together for work. And hybrid electric. Isn't that what a hybrid is? But if I just say hybrid, wouldn't it imply that it's part gas, part electricity? No, because, no, because What is the other option for a hybrid vehicle? The electric feature of my car, oh, our car, is that I, it runs 20 miles. It gives, it gives us, once you get home, you plug in the car and it charges overnight. And it uh, gives you 20 miles full electricity like no gas no nothing can you put this word down oh! so um one, <laughs> we charge it every day every night and then the next day we only we go back and forth i mean from home to work and vice versa only in electricity it's been for us especially in this area dc because let me tell you so um anyway so uh so that was that was a good thing you know i have ultimate editing capabilities and i can just edit you right out of this video right why well, then I'm David. Hey, you can, you, you can delete me out of the video. You like including me in the video. <laughs> Get your <laughs> back here. So, so that's why we, that is, that is why we didn't uh, use any gas, like two months. Two months. Yeah, we haven't bought gas in a while. Two months. Since Three last days. month? Yeah. Three, at the end of this month, I, uh, yeah, it'll be, at the end of September, it'll be two months, and we have still a lot of gas. We do? Half a tank. You're kidding. We still have a half a tank of gas. So we could go potentially another two months without gas. So we also didn't have to do an oil change, which I don't think. Oh, I but we have to do it this month. I'm part, um, oh, let me see. And that that'll be in October when we talk about the October budget. You can talk about that. So we also did not get charged for Easy Pass. So transportation was good and did help out quite a bit since. We definitely used that money in the stores category. Rizio's checking the football scores because we're filming on a Sunday and I'm not letting him watch football. So Molina's school category started out at, I have 1,090 here. It ended up at 196.38. So we actually were not over on that one at all. The stores category started out at 190 and ended up at 757.28. And a lot of that was, there were $213 for groceries that were unplanned and the rest was Amazon, Etsy, and I think $28 for AliExpress for 
for a couple of outfits and pants. Well, keep on going. Why are you doing that? Did a game start that you want to watch? No. Because we're not even close to being done. Well, you just said they were really close. <laughs> and now you're telling me that... Insurance and taxes started out at 47.83 and ended up at 47.83 because, as I always say, who can overspend on insurance and taxes unless you screw up paying your taxes? The miscellaneous category started out at 344.95 and ended up at 344.95. Very rare that we hit a category like square on. This month we made debt payments in the amount of $5,517.08. Pretty impressive. Had I not gone shopping, it would have been more. And we'll leave it at that. The cushion category, which started out at $100, I went over all of those things previously in the beginning of the video, and it ended up at $379.77. YouTube channel expenses started out at $24.48 and ended up at $27.88. And the reason for that is one of my plugins started charging. So it's $3.40 a month extra. The medical expenses were about $60 under because Mauricio's dental work did not cost anywhere near what we thought it well anywhere near $60 less than what we thought it would and our sinking funds started out at 725 and ended at 725 because obviously we're not going to add extra money to our sinking funds and the light is back <laughs> if you are new to my channel please make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching this video is my latest one and this video is when YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.